Hello everyone. Today we're going to set up the A to D converter on the new style Combix C A I S C A I S L. And the way you do it is start by turning the unit on and pressing and releasing the zero key during the segment check. At this point we'll input our service code which is 202122. Use the function key or up arrow to increase the number and the tear key or the right hour to move to the right. Okay, think of it as your enter key. So we have two, zero, oops, go back if you need to with the zero key, two, one, two, two. Once you have it, press and release the tear key, it'll bring you to WP1. Press and release the tear key, uh, we're doing a standard setup, so press the tear key again. Here is where you'll select your initial unit of measure. Okay, this one is set in kg, and I like that, so I'm going to leave it. Press the tear key again. It'll bring you to ranges. Press the tear key again. Single is the most common. We're going to keep that. Press the tear key. And now this is where we input our maximum capacity. Um, this one is set up for 10,000 kg, but um, I only need five. So I'm going to change that to 5,000. Okay. Press and release the tear key, and the next step will be setting up your grad size, uh, otherwise known as D. So press and release the tear key, and now you can set up your your resolution. Right now we have it set to 0 .0001 kg, and uh, and that works just fine for me. So we're going to press and release the tear key. If you had to make changes, you could do so, and then press and release the tear key as many times as needed to get to the end of the number and then press and release the tear key that will bring us to the next screen it's asking us to save we want to so we press the tear key press the function key to change the no to a yes and then push the tear key now when the unit resets it will be set up to your specifications um, we are in the unlock mode so it does not zero once we put the switch in the lock position um, the unit will re-zero when it comes back on. So now we're set up, we have the capacity that we want, the resolution that we want, and the initial unit of measure. And just to note, there is a switch inside underneath this little metal cap. If you look on the back of the unit, you can gain access to it. Make sure the switch is toward the load cell wire, okay? So you want to make sure, if you're looking at the back of the unit, that this menu switch is closest to this side, where your home run cable is located. And that will put you in the unlock mode.